Hello there. For this video, we'll be having an introduction on what limits are. So limits are denoted by this one out here and it is read as the limit of f of x as x approaches a is l. In layman's terms, f of x gets close to l as we take values of x close to a. Disclaimer, this is just an informal definition of limits. We'll discuss more about its formal definition probably in the future videos. Let's try to illustrate this idea with some illustrations. So let f of x be equal to 3x minus 2 with graph shown. We then consider the values from the left of 1. And let's try to complete this f of x table out here. At x equals 0, what we do is we just plug in x equals 0 in f of x. So we have here f of 0. We'll have here 3 times 0 minus 2, which is negative 2. So the f of x part out here is negative 2. Similarly, at x equals 0 0.5 with the same process, will obtain negative 0 0.5. We then continue the same idea to complete the table. Now similarly, we consider the values from the right of 1. At x equals 2, again, what we do is we plug in 2 out here to obtain 3 times 2 minus 2 <coughs> and that would give us 6 minus 2 which is 4. So we have here 4. At 1.5, f of x becomes 2.5. With the same idea, we'll have this. So as you can see, these are the points for these two, and these two are the points for the, these two. And as you can observe, if we if you try to plot these points, you'll observe that it would get closer and closer to something around here. In fact, observe that. As x approaches 1 from the left and the right, f of x approaches 1. Therefore, we say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is 1. So it's around here. And that is the basic idea on limits. Let's have another illustration. So consider this function g of x given by 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 all over x minus 1. Its graph is given by this. Now take note that g of x is undefined at x equals 1 since plugging in 1 as this one we will have 1 minus 1 in the denominator and we know that 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So this one will be undefined. So if we check the graph, this is its representation. There is a hollow part out here since at x equals 1, 
the function is undefined. But if x is not equal to 1, then take note that we can factor out the numerator of g of x into 3x minus 2 times x minus 1 all over x minus 1. So we applied some factoring methods out here of quadratic trinomials. And since x is not equal to 1, then we also know that x minus 1 is not equal to 0. So we basically move this one out here. And since x minus 1 is not equal to 0, then we can cancel out these two out here. So canceling that one out or dividing them, we'll have 3x minus 2. And what do you observe? Well, 3x minus 2 is actually our first example. And from above, or from the previous one, we note that the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is equal to 1. So this is what we obtained earlier. Therefore, we can say, or we know that at x is not equal to 1, the limit of g of x as x approaches 1 is equal to 1. So what do we have here? We have that the limit is equal to 1 even though g of 1 is undefined. So as a remark, take note that the limit may exist even if f of a is undefined. Let's now have one final illustration. So we consider h of x to be this piecewise function out here. And take note that at h of 1, so that is at x equals 1, we have the value to be negative 2. So it's this one. So take note that at h of 1, we have h of 1 to be equal to negative 2, this one. But if we consider x not equal to 1, then take note that we'll have h of x equals f of x equals 3x minus 2 since, again, 3x minus 2 out here is our first example. So again, we know that from the first example, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, we know that this must also be the limit of h of x as x approaches 1 since f of x and h of x are the same. Thus, the limit of h of x as x approaches 1 is equal to 1. Now what do we observe here? Observe that h of 1 is equal to negative 2. But the limit of h of x as x approaches 1 is equal to 1. So these two are not equal. So we say that as a remark, it is possible that f of a is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches a. So just to summarize what we have found so far in this video, let's try to illustrate what we have. So this first case, we have something like this. And then we have, oops, So take note that if we consider this point out here, take note that it doesn't matter if this point at C E actually exists or whether it is part of the original function or not. Since what we only consider are the values close to A. So it's surrounding area. We're only considering 
the values near A but not exactly at A. And that is how the concept of limit works. We consider the values close to it but not exactly at it. That is limit. So to end this, here's an exercise that you may try. So given h of x, this one, to be this piecewise function, and this one is actually called the heavy side, heavy side step function, and its graph is given by this, your goal is to determine if the limit of h of x as x approaches 0 exists. So it's around this point out here. Moreover, if it does, what is the limit? And if not, then explain why the limit does not exist. So that's it. Feel free to comment down below your answer to this one as well as any suggestions or recommendations that you have for our future videos. So I hope you liked this one and that is all for this video.